Last hour, we showed you Rick Reichmuth preparing for a daredevil descent worthy of only Santa Claus. And now he's ready to take one of Stanford's largest buildings on. Okay, Rick, every year you say to yourself, who talked me into this? Who talked you into going to the top of the landmark building in Stanford, Connecticut, right now with two very special elves? <laughs> Sorry. We just had a little bit of a technical what? mishap right here at the get, at the start. I don't like that. Are we good? Are we good? It's a good thing I looked down at this thing because I was like, wait, something looks wrong there. Okay, so what happened? Many sets of eyes. I, you know, like there's a lot of cables and ropes, and yeah. something seemed to be not quite connected in the way that you might want it to be connected. <laughs> that's so, a very good catch. That's, think, a, yeah, that's a good catch. We really we like you, Rick. I can't oh, thank you. Okay, so. Uh, I think, uh, as always, it's the first step that's the hardest. Yep. That seems to be the case. This year, I've got uh, this strong guy here who's going to hold me up as I go. Um, and uh, here we go. Okay. And then... Uh, Some pressure, you'll feel it. Uh, right. Yeah, I feel it. And now... Okay. okay. So that little mishap seemed to uh, be fixed there. Oh, I've got... Uh, Brian Cash from Bobby Valentine, Brian Van Orsdale here to uh, join in. Hey, Rick. What's going on, guys? Hi, hi, hey, baby. Not Let's bad that you guys is. had to wait here for about 15 <laughs> minutes <laughs> for <laughs> us <laughs> to be ready. You we're did good, a good job. We're, we're good now. It's a little chilly. Oh, boy. How you doing? Hey, Rick. Yeah, we're going to follow the leader? Or I guess so. Down? All right, oh, let you know the what? games what begin. We like to... oh, we're going down. Oh, what we like to do every year when we're out here, it's always like the... Uh, the big time for new acquisitions for the Yankees. Yeah. So we get Brian Cashman here hanging by a rope and ask what's going on. Yes, uh, we are definitely trying to find another shortstop. I asked Rick if he brought one with, me, with him on the building today, but unfortunately our look, we're still looking. Uh -huh. I'm available. I'm available. <laughs> Bobby Valentine is available. That's, That's the right. word. You're in good company there, descending down 22 stories high, 350 feet, the tallest, one of the tallest buildings in Stanford, Connecticut, on an ultimately cold, cold day. How's it feeling right now? Um. Well, I've not looked down just yet. Good. We have. Yeah, Don't have, look. Have you yeah. looked down? Yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend it. I haven't. <laughs> I'm not going to do it for a little while. I haven't looked down. It's it's cold out here on this building, but it's an awesome experience. Look at how there's way a up weird high thing there. where it bounces, and every little bounce feels like something's wrong. That this is not uh -huh. the way it's supposed to be. Do you mean technically, Rick? Are you saying something's wrong with your cable? No, that's just in my head. Okay, good. They say I, that oh. it's normal, but something in your head with every bounce seems like it's going wrong. This is uh, not a normal activity. No, about and, and how the building slopes anyway, slopes out. So that's so, so that's anxiety. That's not the rope. So if, if right. there's something wrong with the rope, let's tell these folks now. <laughs> exactly. rightfully, rightfully justified here, Rick. I want to ask you. Uh, the building is 350 feet high, 22 stories. We're looking at on screen right. We can see where you are in this descent. Approximately, how many stories do you think you've you've got to go? Well, since I haven't looked back or down yet, I think you might have a better idea than me. I would say you're down about nine or ten stories. Uh, that's and, all? And where would you That's rather, all. <laughs> Rick, where I guess would, you got to hurry then. <laughs> where would you rather be now, Rick? <laughs> <laughs> On I'm a beach somewhere? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, besides anywhere. Hey, I'm seeing some brave, brave re repelling. Well, and that's, <laughs> that's because the building is... Is curved outward, and so they start doing some kind of drum, dramatic uh, repelling. I, I would, uh, I would imagine. Tangle. I'd imagine with the temperature, though, it's it's ultimately pretty difficult to feel even your hands and feet as they hit the building and grab the rope. Is that the case, Rick? My fingers are completely numb. <laughs> oh, great. It does not feel good. And, and this is what Navy yeah, Seals and fact, Green Berets and Rangers do. But so, Rick, be be grateful. No one's firing at you. Yeah. <laughs> What, what's I'm your, always thankful for that. Look at how. What's your advice to Santa when he when he attempts this later on today? <laughs> Whew, Santa, I think, is a pro at repelling. Yeah. Um, and Brian is too. Brian and Bobby on Sunday they will be here in the vent dressed up in little green tights yeah. uh, as elves. <laughs> why why yeah, don't we, we ask be, Brian about this? Give Rick a little helpers. An opportunity to breathe. <laughs> hey, Brian Cashman, uh, why do you do this every year? Well, you know, it's an amazing adrenaline rush, first and foremost. Not many people can 
say like Rick does, that he's jumped off a 23-story building in uh, in any part of the world. That's right. Uh, and the Christmas show is spectacular. It really is fun to to has help Santa and, and Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, do their tricks here uh, for the family to... Fairfield County, Connecticut, here in Stanford. So it's awesome. Okay. Rick, as we take a look at the acrobatics by your repelling pals, how would you grade them? Who is the best repeller? I know that you would say they're all better than you, but who, who really has embraced this? Um, Cashman is really pretty good. Yo. He's got it down. Bobby just seems really to be bouncing tangled. around there against the wall. I mean, that might be part of his, uh, his style. He's going for some extra style points. Bobby, if you can hear us, how are you feeling up there? Hey, Bobby, how are you feeling over there? I'm good. I got a little tangled up. I feel good now. He feels good. That's great. All right. Hey, if I jump off of this, are you going to get me? You got me? Because last year I ran into the wall over there. Uh, we remember. You remember? Ooh. Yeah. All right. This is this is my the dismount. All right. That's number two. Rick is going to be next, I believe. Oh! What a oh! Whoa! Nice save. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Rick, my heart is in my stomach right Boy. now. <laughs> Mine was too. Yeah. And Rick, by the way, this qualifies as the weather segment. How is the weather out there today? Oh, it is um, sunny and dry and really cold. Wow, yeah, that's it. Well, hey. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was nice. Nice. <laughs> All these guys, tremendous. <laughs> okay, America, you can breathe again. Rick, very nicely done Thank with God, Brian yeah. and Brian and Bobby. <laughs> Wow, a repelling victory and a rocket launch all in one morning. And you know what? They're going to do it again in an hour. <laughs> they sure are. Safe and sound. I don't know if they're mentally sound, but they're safe and sound. <laughs> it was a good dry run. Incredible. Incredible. Very nicely done. Gosh. All right.